It's early yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll work harder next time. <laughs> um, all right, now this this was actually a fun wine to write about when they finally told me who is James Mitchell. There, you know, first of all, there is no James Mitchell. Well, it's named after the two iconic people that oh, started. Oh yeah, James and Mitchell. Yeah, the right. two guys whose first names were James and Mitchell. Right. Turns out they're they're working for Lang Twins, which we do a lot of. Are you serious? Yeah, they work for Lang Twins now. They sold the name. Wait a minute, are you to- serious? <laughs> Um, this smells like Lane Twins. This yeah. reminds me of the Lane Twins wines. Their Cabernet. Uh, well, it come, comes from the same area. It comes from Lodi, you know. That is so wild. Wow. So, go ahead, continue. Mm-mm. I'm sure it was very interesting. Well, what, what were you going to say? Wow. This is really <coughs> big, though. This is bigger than the Lang Twins. Lang Twins is a little more elegant. This is like, I got a little more moxie going to it. Boy, it's delicious. Uh what a price, too. Twelve ninety nine. dollars What beer. a contrast, though. Isn't that fun? Because this is all fruit and cranberries and boysenberries, and this is like oak and spice and clove. And- exactly. <laughs> spice is the, is the operative word there. There's a, and clove, which I'm not, I'm not a big fan of. You know, I, you know I, I like clove as long as nobody tells me it's, I, can, I can't figure out it's in there. But, you know, as, a, as an addition, it's terrific. And this is delicious. This is oh, by delicious. the way, last night at this restaurant, we had sous vide beef cheek. Well, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, that sounds like him. I mean, you could cut it with, like, with could, a toothpick. Yeah, you could have just done this. Yeah, I know. You, you just look at it, you know, kind of, <laughs> and it sort of sort of separates. Ninety-seven. No, I'll give it a Ooh, look at it. Too late. <laughs> it's already indelibly etched in stone. <laughs> Great. I'm, I, I'm not arguing that. I, it's really a terrific bottle. Nice one. charred New York. Uh, yeah, a, a bone-in, uh, prime-aged New York.